Good morning, FSPA. Today's show is all about what makes Sickle stand out. We will be covering our culinary program, this year's musical, our unique music department, and one student who does it all. I'm Mariana Ramos. And I'm Tara Gray. And the legend, FSPA edition, starts, starts right, right now. now. can be an extremely stressful job. Many schools offer their teachers benefits, but nothing beats delicious hot and ready food made by their very own students. Olivia Stroud has the story. This is the first school where I worked where they have a full, full culinary program, but here at Sickles, it's just good quality food. The culinary program at Sickles High School is very valuable and is known for their dedication, hard work, and most importantly, delicious food. For the program, we are required to do one lunch a week. It can be any day. Every program in the county is required to do one lunch. We love doing it. We think it's the, the backbone of our program. and keeps the kids in getting action and getting experience. So we decided to do three lunches a week. Since culinary creates a menu based on different regions, it applies more to the teachers because they can experience cuisine from places they wouldn't be able to otherwise. Well, I mean, so there's 22 other programs in Hillsborough County, and I know for a fact none of them do as much as we do. We like to change it every week and do something new and exciting. Some teachers get the food for the appeal, but others will prefer the culinary lunch to any at-home meal. I feel like we just bring, we take pride in doing as much as possible and, and providing a variety of foods that these teachers would not make at home or would not get a chance in any restaurants around here to eat. Whole lunch is out of question because I'm a mother of five and they all eat a lot of food at home. So there's never food left for me to bring uh, to school the following day but it's actually better than what we would make at home. I'd say the ones that definitely support our program and come in, they get excited about the different menus, the value, and some have even been so kind to say it gets them through their week. Teachers enjoy the meals Cloud Night offers and the students and chefs have a good time making them. Reporting for The Legend, I'm Olivia Straub. I wonder what musical or theater program will be put on this year. I heard it's Once Upon a Mattress, a show about the true story of the princess and the pea. Anya Mather has more. It's the time of year when the Sickles Theatre Department puts on their annual spring musical. Infamously, the production has always been a big, well-known show. However, this year, the program has decided to take a different route. This year is smaller than last year. Beauty and the Beast is a huge show. This show is a little bit smaller. There's an infinite number of moving parts to create a musical. But the cast and crew unanimously agree that camaraderie is the most important asset a show can have. Being friends with your castmates is probably the most important thing in acting besides knowing your lines. When you truly are friends with the person on stage and you really like them, there's just, it's just such a better chemistry and you can really tell, the audience can tell when they are friends. For seniors, the Sickles Theater family brings unmatched joy as they near the end of their high school careers. I am extremely happy to have this as my last musical. It is the most fun I've ever had in a musical. Being around a bunch of theater people is just fun. Ultimately, showcasing their passion gives these students friendships and unforgettable memories to fondly look back on, even years after leaving high school. Reporting for The Legend, I'm Anya Mather. Wow, I can't wait to see the musical. Me too, I just wish I had a little more action. Don't worry, Alexis Tran went to the cast and asked them to teach her stage combat. I'm Alexis Tran and this is Isabella Beauvais and she's playing Lady Larkin in her upcoming musical, Once Upon a Mattress. Today she's going to teach me how to stage fight. Okay, so today you're going to teach me how to... Punch! Alright, so... <laughs> so, first, make a fist. Okay, this then, one? Yes. Alright. And then with your other hand, you're going to make the sound of a punch. Okay. So like, as you make the motion, you're going to simultaneously all right, all right. hit your chest. Okay, okay. like so this. You're gonna, yeah, so you're going to punch me and then I'm going to react. Okay, okay. okay. Can okay. you do it first? Can you do it first? Okay, okay, okay. 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 So, like that. All right, all right, so at the and same time. don't go too close to my face, because then that's the I'll actually zone. punch you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. All right, all right. <laughs> You're going to go in the middle, and then okay, it's all, right. all about reaction yeah. as well. Yeah, all right, all right. Ready? No. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Did that look real? All right, everyone, thank you so much for teaching me how to fight. Cool. Reporting for the legend, I'm Alexis Tran. Our school has many accomplished programs, but none of them work quite like our music department. Jocelyn Pritchard found out the secret to their success. 
Popsicles High School's 800 building is always filled with music between the school's exemplary band, chorus, and orchestra programs. However, these programs aren't just standalone. They work together to enrich students' music education. And we have, in my opinion, one of the strongest music programs in the county, maybe even the state. Kyle Gray, the full-time choral director at Sickles High School, attributes the success of the programs to cross-curricular musicians, students who are involved in more than one music program. The cross-curricular students are the best because they get to experience music in different ways. Chris Martinez is one of these students involved in concert and jazz band as well as chorus. My singing always benefits my playing and my playing always benefits my singing just because I learn different things. Being in multiple programs helps students learn new skills that can be applied in both programs. As a result, they can also help the musicians around them to get better too. The more ways you interact with something, the better you're gonna know it. Singing helps me because it helps me detect pitches a lot like well and it helps me with tuning instruments. I know band and orchestra, you have to tune you know, our strings and stuff. So what makes a music program thrive is everyone's shared passion for music and willingness to work together, fostering a loving and supportive environment for all musicians. We meet a lot of new people and the directors are very um, open with having good group sessions and stuff like that to get everybody together as family. Music is such a, an, a fundamental part of what it means to be human. Everyone should be doing it. Reporting for The Legend, I'm Jocelyn Pritchard. I can't believe we have so many amazing programs at our school. Me too. The programs and the students in them are really what makes our school great. Yeah, our students really are the best. You know, there's one student who's in all three programs we learned about today. Really? Yeah, Rianne Lide is a part of culinary, theater, and band. She's found a way to put her all into every single program she's a part of. That's incredible. Let's learn more. Something I love to do, you know. I put my energy into things that I care about, and I care about all three of these programs, so why wouldn't I put all that effort into it, you know? Rianne is the most hardworking person that I know, I would say. I mean, she's so, so dedicated, and she wants to put every single thing that she has into everything that she does. It's really inspiring to see how someone can you know, grow while they're also partaking in other activities such as culinary or theater. I think that she's a huge inspiration to show that, you know, you are able to do a lot of different things and as long as you put in the time and the effort, you can be amazing at them. It's only as difficult as you make it. If you truly enjoy these programs and it's something that you want to do, um, whether it's a career path or not, or you're just here to enjoy the rest of your high school, do it. I don't see why not, especially when you are put on a campus that has so much to do. Just do it. I think Rianne really embodies what it means to be a Griffin, and she is always going above and beyond, whether that be in culinary, band, or theater. Thanks for watching, Griffins. We hope you learn a little more about what makes our school great. As always, have a great day, and make good choices.